my soul, look back in the wonder. I made it over, I made it over. And I said, mm, now how I got over. And I said, mm, now how I got over. You know my soul, look back in the wonder. I made it over, I made it over. You know he had. Hi, my name is Michelle David. I come from New York, but Ikvone here in the Netherlands, and I'm doing a project called The Gospel Sessions, which we are currently on volume two. Um, it's a wonderful project. It's all the things that you never knew about gospel music. Uh, we take lyrics, but the music is funky. It's sometimes sexy. It's <laughs> it's uh, danceable. It, it will make you cry. It's uh, everything, like I said, that you would normally associate with gospel. It's not your typical choir. It's not your typical uh, Hammond organ. Uh, we started off with uh, two guitars and a percussionist. And uh, it's been awesome. So that would be Arno Smith, Paul Willemson, and Tone Oma. And it's absolutely fabulous. You definitely should check it out. You know my soul, look back in the wonder. I made it over, I made it over. You know we gave up his life for me. He bled and died, there were cavalry. But then he rose just to set us free. You know he really said the captain's free. And I said, oh. The deep stories that we basically tell are the stories of our lives, um, the ups, the downs, the in-betweens, uh, the triumphs, the failures. Um, it's all a part of the music, and if you cannot take what you have experienced and allow yourself to be vulnerable to bring it out, then why do it? <laughs> why do it? Which means that everybody cannot be a blues singer or a gospel singer. I said it all. But it's true. I mean, if you want to get to the deep core of it, you have to allow yourself to sometimes uh, go to places that you don't necessarily want to go or share things that you don't want to share. But through sharing, it's a testimony. It can help someone. It can uplift. It can encourage. Uh, let people know that you're not alone in your situation, and, which is why I really love gospel music so much. was about eight or nine years old um, I was surrounded by music number one um, I was a dancer okay. I started when I was about seven um, so of course I had uh, classical training so I had all the classical music um, but every Wednesday Saturday Sunday of course my house was filled with gospel and um, it's all I knew it, it you know basically it's all I knew it's what you heard um, I wasn't in a household where just because of my faith I couldn't uh, listen or express myself outside of gospel music um, they call it secular uh, I was allowed to listen to everything which actually helped to um, yeah help to mold me into who I am today um, so Shirley Caesar uh, or James Cleveland would play on the uh, record player. But then again, we had Nat King Cole. We had Noble Sissel who lived upstairs. So we had his music. So it, it, was, it was full. My, my musical childhood was very, very full. My race to have the courage to do just what It won't be Ma!
I think that uh, blues music is still relevant today and is still uh, a part of the youth of today because it does cater to the heart and it does feed the soul and no matter how much you want to hear the poppy poppy stuff sometimes you do want to hear something that is a little bit more has a little bit more substance I'll put it to you like that. One of the, the uh, singers and musicians that I love today is Gary Clark Jr. Oh, first of all, that dirty guitar is the best I have heard in a very long time. And I can tell that he's not so much concerned about um, how he approaches the music as opposed to I'm doing it because I feel it and I feel it the way I do it and I do it the way I feel it and I, um, every chord I'm right there with him uh, I'm just right there I just love him I think he's uh, way ahead of his time and I think he's gonna have longevity in this business It's a very angry time and due to the social media is making it very easy for things that you have thought about or felt and never shared it makes it's making it easier for them to share and and hide behind the keys um, there's a saying that says let's agree to disagree I, I love that saying let's agree to disagree I might not feel the same way that you do but I respect you as a human being period. Um, when you take away all the layers, it doesn't matter about your color, your religion, your sexual preference, uh, et cetera, et cetera. When you shed all of that and you go inside the body, we're all the same. We are all the same and we all experience to a certain degree the same emotions. Are there people who do not love? Of course. Do they have the capability? Of course. We all do. Um, do I have some likes and dislikes just like you? Of course we do. Let's agree to disagree and I think um, in my music I can pretty much say what I'm singing now uh, has touched people who are not religious however I've learned that because of the passion in which I'm giving it and the way that I'm sharing it in a way that I'm not trying to convince you or convict you or change your mind in your thinking I'm just sharing something that I love and because of the fact that I put it over so easy, people, I've had a lot of atheists who have said to me, you're making it very hard for me to be an atheist. And I'm like, okay, well, God bless you. <laughs> oh, my God. My mission is not to save the saved. I'm just here to share. So in terms of if you're not liking me because I'm a, a, a darker shade, there's a light. Get over it because I, to me, you're in the sun just like I am, and sometimes you can get a little darker than I can. That's agree to disagree. In my light shining over me, let your lessons from above fill me with my precious love. There's a light in my light shining over me. Lost some time. Why strange things happen to me I look up the hill And my friends are gone But I put my trust in Jesus My burdens will lie down Don't you see there's a light in my life I think the mission that I'm on is just to share love um, I am not, no, the typical gospel artist or sometimes I don't even want to say that I'm a gospel artist because you have those who are in the churches uh, daily or monthly or whatever. Uh, their job is to save souls and to bring people to Christ. I don't think that or to make sure that those who say that they are saved remain saved. Well, I don't think that that's my mission. I think my mission is to show love and in your discovering love through me, you see God, then okay, then that is my my mission on that front. But to say that I'm on a mission for God, that that's way too hard. I don't that's way too much pressure. <laughs> I'm just doing and and sharing what he has given me and that's enough for me. That's enough. Over me. Yeah.
Danke sehr.